Now you can see I just walked through it. I've actually got the WordPress running. I'm going to show you exactly what to do here. We're going to do docker run hyphen hyphen name and I'm calling it WordPress server. And uh, this is hyphen P8080. I'm going to map this to port 80 on my IP address. This WordPress server is what's exposed to the internet. We're also going to hook it into that network that we created hyphen hyphen network my network. So that way these two dockers are on their own little private network and they can communicate with each other. And we're going to run this as a background process and it's going to be the WordPress latest server. If I just do WordPress, that'll work. But the container name will be WordPress underscore server. So go ahead and get that in and it should spin right up and then you can go to your IP address, whatever that is. And you will see something that asks you about English. What language would you like? If you choose to install this in uh, Russian or something along those lines, you are officially on your own from that point. I can't help. So I'm going to stick with English. We're going to go continue. And um, you can see that uh, it's already, because I already did it, it's giving me a problem. This will be fixed when I, I'm going to pause the video. Hold on. Yours will look like this. I had to erase WP config because I already tested this. Uh, database name, username, password. It's telling you what you're going to need. And so our database name was WordPress underscore DB. That's what we did create database on. The username for our database, because we haven't given it anything special, is root. Our password is going to be password because that's what I gave it. And the database host now is the name of the Docker that's running the database. So in this case, it's my underscore Maria. This table prefix will just prefix all those tables. Uh, we'll work with uh, probably set up PHP my admin just to look at that in a second. So submit, and then we're going to run the installation. And I'll call this my WordPress. It's going to ask for a username. It's going to give me a password, and I'll just give this a student123 password like that. Confirming use of weak password, and I'll just give this no email at no email.net. That's fine. And that should be good. So I should be able to install it now. Let's see what happens. And we are good to go. And so here I am at WP login. But what we really want is under WP admin. This is a key piece inside of WordPress is that there'll always be a WP admin folder. It's interesting. Unless this is something going on with this newer version here. I see by logging into that panel, it took me to WP admin. So now I'm ready to manage my WordPress. So you can show me this in class for credit. Or if uh, you're not in class or the instructor is not available, we'll take a screenshot and uh, just sort of provide proof of this IP address with this dashboard working. Uh, don't delete it because we're going to work with it a little more in the next video.